There's Rob, Aya, Sansa and Bran. Daenerys married Aquaman. All of these houses, it's hard to keep straight. Did that kid just breastfeed? I swear, he's like eight. OK, got all that? That's James Corden wrapping away Game of Thrones. Touching the surface of what you need to know as we head into the final season, which premieres on Sunday. We're, We're so excited. excited. Liliana Vasquez is our throne savant. Without her, it would take you two days, 15 hours and 30 minutes to catch up on all the Start seasons. The Help us out, Liliana. Ain't no one got time for that. Two minutes is all I need. Here goes. This isn't just a game. It's an epic clash for the Iron Throne. Now, many houses have fought for the crown, and many have died. R.I.P. Rob Stark. But who's still around to battle for the crown in the last and final season? How about Daenerys Targaryen, mother of dragons? She's basically gone from a real housewife to a real boss. She's got dragons, armies, and the most clever drunk by her side. I'm not questioning your honor, Lord Janus. I'm denying its existence. Danny is the mother of dragons, three to be exact. Now, two are still good, but one's a baddie for the enemy now, so that's gonna be a nasty family reunion. Now, at the end of last season, we also saw Danny finally hook up with her throne's rival, Jon Snow, but did I mention she's also his aunt? Ooh, that's gonna be really awkward once they figure it all out. You know nothing, Jon Snow. He knows some things. Back from the dead in season six, <laughs> <gasps> the new King of the North, Jon Snow, is reaching across the aisle for all the help he can get for the Great War. He'll even need the help of his reunited, long-lost siblings, including his Queen in the Making sister, Sansa, his assassin sister, Arya, who's gone from Bambi to full-on Kill Bill, and his brother, Bran, who can see past, present, and even in the future. If this crew can band together, nobody can rain on their parade. Well, maybe him. Remember when I said one dragon was a bad boy? That's because this dude straight up stole him. I'm talking about the Night King, ruler of the zombie army. He turns babies evil. He turns dragons evil. He even turns dead people evil. Dude is straight up evil. But even the undead king is not as crazy as power-hungry queen Cersei Lannister. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. After losing her kids, her past lovers, her father, and being deserted by her brothers, she's turned into a bit of a mad queen. But before you go feeling sorry for her, hold that thought. She knowingly had three kids with her older brother. Girls got issues. Wait, how much time do I have left? We didn't even talk about this. <laughs> or this. Oh, the dog! Or even that. You know what? You guys are good to go. Don't worry about the details, just enjoy the watch party. If you love that video, you're gonna love everything on the Access YouTube channel, so hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now.